Buongiorno, my name is Maurizio. For the last 27 years, I've been the chef owner of the Excelsior Inn and Ristorante Italiano. Now I'd like to welcome you to my home and to show you how to cook some simple meal with the household common ingredients that everybody should have in their pantry. So we talk about carbonara today. Carbonara is a very simple dish. Eggs, pecorino cheese, cheating, supposed to be pancetta, guanciale, guanciale is the chick of the pig, but we're going to use bacon because I said household common ingredients, everybody's going to have some bacon in the house. Fresh ground pepper, spaghetti, uh, that's all the ingredients, folks. So now we're going to uh, start the process. We're going to cut the pancetta in small dice pieces and we're going to render it in a saute pan. We're going to crack the eggs, typically one per person, but the Pope said add the third one because it's better. So I got three. Uh, we'll fresh grate some pecorino cheese. We have fresh ground pepper and the water, the hot water from the pasta is going to create that creamy uh, type of sauce for the carbonara. Absolutely, absolutely, no cream. You're never going to go to paradise otherwise. So this pasta is so simple. It should take no more than eight minutes. Eight minutes it takes for the pasta to cook and every other ingredient simultaneously should come together. I'm going to cut the uh, pancetta, again, bacon, but you pretend it's pancetta. Like I said, small coarse pieces like that. I'm going to put them into the uh, saute pan. I'm not going to turn anything on yet because it takes really not that much time for this. So we'll wait until the water comes to a boil uh, we will put the spaghetti in, we're going to crack the eggs, and uh, generally you do two whole eggs and one egg yolks. We're going to um, whip a little bit the, uh, the, the eggs. I need a fork somewhere right over here. Just can use like a little whip. I generally don't add any salt uh, because of the pancetta typically or the guanciale, in this case the bacon, uh, is already salty but we do add a little bit of fresh ground pepper into the uh, eggs, and then we will also finish it up with fresh ground pepper when the pasta is finished cooking. I like a little pecorino grated into the eggs as well. And we'll do more as the uh, pasta cooks. Important things about this dish is to follow exactly how I do it. So once the, uh, the, the, the bacon is rendered, you need to turn the, uh, uh, the stove off for that, otherwise the eggs, they're going to uh, become scrambled eggs and that's actually breakfast, no pasta anymore. So we have to use the water of the, uh, from the pasta to keep it creamy, but not a very high heat. Now you understand that this is probably not the healthiest meal that you're going to have, but it is one of the most delicious. That's where the Antan Athletic Club comes in you have to deal with them about losing that few pounds I'm going to put on you today. So don't blame me for it, it's good, but you go to the club and work out with, uh, I know Ellen has some pretty brutal classes, so she will take care of you in that respect. And of course, when I mean going to the club, I forgot we are in quarantine, everybody, so you have to go to the uh, video section of the Dantan Athletic Club, like I'm doing from home. Great classes, I do cheat a little bit because she's way too tough for me, but it is worth it if you're going to have this kind of meal every day with me. So what do I drink with carbonara? Well, for sure I drink wine. Now uh, tonight probably I'm going to use a little bit of Italian wine from Tuscany, Rosso Vino Nobile di Montepulciano. Other things we'll be cooking in the next few weeks, they're going to be, again, things that you probably more likely have in your pantry. We're going to be doing uh, uh, arrabbiata, we're going to be doing uh, puttanesca, so um, if you think ahead, uh, black olives like calamata olives would be good, capers would be good, um, maybe bring home some uh, uh, basil, uh, oregano, we probably do maybe a traditional Italian tuna salad with canned tuna, because like I said, we try not to get out and uh, uh, do the social distancing kind of business is important. Um, cannellini beans would be a good product to have inside the house and of course pasta, pasta, pasta. Okay, the water is boiling, so we're going to put a pinch of salt in the water. Where is my salt? 
Not a lot because now it may be a little salty. I'm going to drop the pasta. Now this is probably a little too much, but I'm hungry tonight. Now you got eight minutes, my friend, so you can open the wine, enjoy your first glass of wine, and not two because it's too much. I'm going to put this aside for a second, otherwise it's going to uh, get a little bit too brown. So it's important that the pasta is going to uh, hit the pan and not very uh, high heat. Then when the pasta is being coated with the uh, fat, we will add the uh, eggs. And at that moment, literally two, three minutes, you have to finish the process and be ready to eat. So don't go anywhere else in the house, be right there, ready to eat it. They're delicious when they're freshly made. More you wait, they will dry out. That's why people typically have been adding cream to it. But if you add cream to it, like I said, you're not going to go to paradise. Pope will uh, discontinue your, your uh, that is called. Now remember, when this is all finished, and we're back to life to normal. I expect everybody to line up outside the door of the restaurant, Italiano Excelsior of course. And I want to see everybody back in the gym working out because I'm going to weigh over all of you because I know I'm going to be responsible for some, at least two, three pounds. So we'll, we'll regroup in a month from today when we can be live. Okay, pasta should be ready. So I'm going to start uh, to uh, bring the, some of the noodles in the pan. Want to add the eggs. Pecorino cheese, don't forget. And that's carbonara, my friend. And that's what carbonara looks like. Looks like it's creamy, but absolutely no cream has been added. At this point, I like a little few more crack of black pepper. Mmm, smells amazing. Buon appetito e a presto. Ciao.